Hey y'all, hey, coming to y'all with a message per use just before I go out to lunch. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all this. I was um, in the middle of my prayer and studying earlier and just kind of fellowshipping with God. And one of the things that I noted to talk to my audience and listen up because this is good. I trust me, it's good. Is about spirits fleeing, right? What I've learned in this season of my life is even as it relates to engaging with content on my pages, right? You'll start losing followers that don't subscribe to what it is that you're saying or what you're talking about and it's not in the literal sense of the things that you're saying being wrong per se it's necessarily connected to the spirit within them that feels a way about whatever your spirit is conveying or communicating what i've gotten real clear on in this season is that when you start elevating and ascending your mind and reaching higher and seeking god more intentionally and you start sharing that outwardly with your audience as a content creator you have to understand that not everybody's spirit has the capacity to hold what you're saying, right? The thing that I've noticed about the people in this world is a lot of people that are lukewarm Christians or people that don't subscribe to God at all are typically people that want to hear beautiful lies. As long as they are hearing lies and fluff and all the sugarcoating nonsense that people in the world say and spew out of their mouths, false prophets, all of these people. It doesn't even have to be connected to the church. It could just be a person that you see on a day-to-day -day basis. When people tell beautiful lies, the masses subscribe to that because it makes them feel good. And we live in a very feel-good culture, right? But when you start being a realist, and you start speaking God's honest and bold truth, and you start standing in honesty and what's real, people flee because the insecurity within them doesn't want to hear what you have to say the worry the fear the doubt the frustration that the enemy uses to torment them because it's a spirit within them remember 20 percent of what we live is tangible everything else 80 percent is spiritual people don't want to hear the ugly truth because beautiful lies make them feel good but what you have to get comfortable with in this space, my loves, is understanding that if you are a person that likes beautiful lies, you need to start praying to God to ask you to change what you're listening to, what you're bringing into your spirit. Because that's not how you live a fruitful life with a beautiful lie. You learn to face the ugly truth. You learn to be able to be comfortable with negative feelings and emotions because it's normal. We are human. And you pray to God to help you navigate those feelings because the more and more that you trust and have faith that God will bring you on the other side of what you feel that doesn't feel beautiful and doesn't feel good, that's when God can start rupturing and pruning your spirit so that he can ascend you to be the better version of yourself, the more Christ-like version of yourself. Once you start allowing him to strip you away from what the world tells you is comfortable and moving into the uncomfortable, that's where peace is found, my love. I'm not saying these things because they sound nice or because it sounds good. I'm saying these things because I actually went through what I'm telling you. Once you allow God to strip you of everything that you once knew, the version of yourself that you once was comfortable being, and you start stepping into the fullness of the uncomfortable parts of yourself and allow healing, a significant healing to take place, that is when you will turn away from the matrix, which is what this world is, the author of the matrix and you'll start ascending to being more kingdom like my loves this message will help someone i know it will because god said so and i'll talk to you guys soon